Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton. Wow, this place is a freak show. I don't respect literally any of you people. And it is time for episode 43 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. So, following on from the absolutely wild decisions made last, uh, last episode, um, I'm gonna bumble around and find a few final bits of evidence before it is time to go demand that people explain said evidence. These are the logs of who entered and exited the building last night. Let's see. 1734. Witness enters. 2058. Carmelina arrives and witness buzzes her in. 2358. The God Justice Marshals arrive and secure the building. 0018. Witness and Carmelina exit. 0331. Witness returns. These logs are sealed by the Nightmare Computer. They can't have been tampered with. Witness and Carmelina have alibis. I'm really starting to lose any sense of certainty that I have over the Nightmare Computers. We're told that any information they have is inviolable and true, because nobody can access them except the investigator, because they're locked with abstract space logic. But, um, excuse me, we know that people have got safes and doors that they go through regularly that are locked by Nightmare Computer. Um, so how does that work? You know? If it's coded to their blood vials, we know that stealing someone's blood lets you access stuff via their blood vial. Um, so there's actually no reason to assume that anything hasn't been tampered with on the entire fucking island. However, that is not... I believe an inference we are meant to take. That is not something we are supposed to have discovered in our brains. I also, uh, <laughs> I also want to go uh, talk. Well, not talk to. I want to go have a look at the doctor's clinic because there's also something we've missed there. Apparently, as I mentioned last episode, I have looked up the locations of a couple of clues that I have uh, forgotten to go back to after having gotten all of the computer upgrades that allow me to access them. So somewhere is this dipshit's clinic. Um, and if I can find that, then we can perhaps find some additional information. This, that goes up, that doesn't help. He's, he's down below us somewhere with his yacht and his clinic's got a back door. So his clinic must be up here somewhere. Uh, or possibly I just need to go in through the black back door of the clinic, which I don't think I tried previously. I do think our, our discovery last episode is <laughs> kind of pure bad writing um, in a really entertaining way. It's a detective story. You can't... You, I mean, you can. But a detective story where the third act plot twist is... There was a wizard in a box, and you met the wizard, and the wizard said, Ooh, hoo, hoo, I did the murders because I'm a wizard. That's... Uh, that is a decision that you are technically allowed to make, whether or not I respect it. The back door to Doom Jazz's clinic. This should be covered by the Syndicate HQ logs, but the door log looks broken. Uh, I, I mean, I checked that previously, but that doesn't tell me... That doesn't let me in. Have I ever actually been into his clinic? If this is the back door, then the clinic must be either on the other- whoop. And the clinic must either be on the other side of this stone wall or above it. Maybe I just- maybe I just missed the entrance and I never went in there. So let's- uh, let's cut and I'll go find it. And here we are. So, like, I- I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get over the fact that the real murderer turned out to be Knife Wizard, who was born all alone in a concrete box and spent 25 years playing with a balasong. Um, but I'm gonna move on from that right now, whether I may- whether or not I manage to move on from it in the long term, and, uh, investigate this scene. Which... Is the clinic, um... I just missed this door. It's hidden between some potted plants and I just never noticed it. Vampiric Murder Report, a confidential report about victims of vampiric attacks. 
Wait, that's it? This is a classified report about vampiric murders on the island. <laughs> what? what? Five victims killed by what appeared to be a vampire. The last victim was found on the beach and was the only one to have any trace of the perpetrator's saliva on them. The perp was ID'd and arrested by the marshals, a citizen. The cause of vampirism was unknown. Vampire report obtained. Vampire report obtained. Vampire report. A confidential report about victims of vampiric attacks. Okay, well, that's... Is that... Okay, that's also really funny, but I also don't know if it's supposed to be funny. I think it's just supposed to be a weird fact about this place that they have a vampire. Although perhaps it's some kind of a commentary on how the horrible pressures that these poor bastards have to exist under causes them to... Um, that's the ghost over there that we need to go find. You know, causes them to begin preying on one, an one another. You see strange neurotic behaviours emerge in animals that are under stress at all times. Um, and a citizen trapped uh, in, in a horrible worship cult that will murder them. And, you know, who is an allegory for being a, a cog in the machine of capitalism. You know, we all know that we're all monumentally stressed all of the time and we all pick up weird neuroses because of it, because we don't have time to rest and sleep and recover and relax. Um, but I think vampirism is a fairly extreme example. I wonder if there's uh, I wonder if there's ever been any documented cases of real life stress induced vampirism. I know that I know that there are theories that vampirism is. Uh... Oh, I hear something. I can s I can smell a secret. Let's have a look. See. I guess I was wrong. Um. I know there's, I know there's like theories about the evolution of, of a cultural myth of vampires coming from things like porphyria and um, other other conditions that cause certain you know horrible strange symptoms. Where the fuck was that ghost? There. Okay. All the way on the beach, huh? Well, I hope it gives them some ghost closure to know that uh, vampires are in fact real, and they will bite you. Although I again. It's not exactly interested in telling me the answer to the question, was this a vampire vampire, or was this just a guy who liked to drink blood? After all, what is the definition of a vampire? Is it just someone who drinks the blood of other human beings, or does it require a mystical component? Do they have to be cursed, or magical, or capable of flight, or transformation, or entrancement, you know? Anyway, <laughs> let's not find out, because they won't tell us. Did you find evidence? I found the evidence when I searched the surgery at the Syndicate HQ. You were the fifth victim. The murders were covered up. The murders were covered up. The cause of vampirism was never found. The killer was caught because of you. Me? The killer left a trace of saliva on you. They found him, a citizen. He was arrested. The horror is gone. I can ascend. Take this, a blue demon gave it to me. He could see me. That was nice of him. Uh, I've always maintained on this channel that it costs you nothing and is very important uh, to be polite to ghosts. There is never a reason not to be polite to a ghost. We respect ghosts in this house. And um, I'm glad that this game clearly feels the same way. Is he pointing at that guy? Still not willing to let me have a look at the cake situation, I notice. Right, what the fuck was I doing? Um, so at this point, the only ghost that remains to be helped is that one, which wants some kind of dominoes, and I don't know where to find them. So that's going to remain a mystery for a little bit, and I guess at this point it's time to uh, rev up the investigatorial engine yet again. So let's get started with Lydia, because she's nearby, so let's go! Hey, Lydia, I have some bad news for you. I have a shit ton of evidence that you colluded in at least one and possibly two plots in order to kill the council at least once and possibly twice. Do you know anything about the third holy seal? Can't help you, LD, it's all a secret. Bullshit. Do you know anything about demons on the island? 
Not a thing, LD. Didn't the marshals kill them all during the Henry incident? I mean, I'm not expecting anybody to, like, go, it's a fair cop, you clearly have a lot of evidence, guess I'll confess. Like, I, ever, that's all gonna come out at the trial, I bet. But I do feel like I should be able to confront people with conclusive evidence against them and have them be like, well, gee, I guess I gotta scramble to come up with a story. I think there's still a couple of other people I haven't completely mined out for dialogue. Let's go for a drive, LD. What's good to eat on this island? The deep factory nailed the meat this time. The synthetic meat, that is. Notice how there's now livestock on the island? The deep factory got expanded. All the meat is made from a culture or bugs. Wait, did they say there's no meat on- Did they say there's no livestock on the island this time and typo it again? There are huge caverns full of bug breeding and meat growing operations. Does it taste good? Yeah, real good. Yuri always claims it doesn't taste like the real thing, but he's just that type. He's the pickup I dread each time. The amount of bullshit that comes out of his mouth is out of control. He thinks he's a wine connoisseur. Dude, you live on a synthetic island where the grapes are grown underground in a lab. It's not high-end stuff. He tried to tell Sammy all about whiskey this one time. Sammy renounced violence, but I thought Yuri was going to get an ice pick in the eye. Sorry, LD. Didn't mean to go off. He just drives me crazy. You can vent all you want. He's new to me. I'll trust you on this. Huh, I appreciate it. I'll drop you at the beach again. Perfect. May your spectre gaze upon a star. May you reach the moon. Huh, I thought she might have a secret for me. Okay, right, time to jump to the next one. So, because I love to torture myself for your benefit, here we are on, um... Hell shithole island to come and talk to the only innocent person on this entire fucking island and someone who's either responsible for some heinous shit or a moron or possibly both. Henry Division. Did you go through the bloodlock in the council building? What does the one in the armor say? Akiko, that you killed the council, so you went through all of the Holy Seals. There you go, then. No memory? Uh-huh. I found your blood on the lock. That puts you at the scene. Then why are you asking me? Do you know anything about your father? What do you think? He wasn't around when I was born. Did your mother know him? I think so. She'd never talk about him. I think she loved him. She was scared of talking about him. Find my father. Henry, do you know the name Eyes Kiwami? Never heard of him. Is, is he my dad? It looks like it. Is he a good man? He, uh, took his own life a few years ago. I'm sorry. Fuck him perfect. At least he doesn't know what his son did. Allegedly dead. What well, fucking ever. Hmm. I'm having some thoughts. Do you know anything about demons on the island? Besides me? No. So, I guess maybe there were two contemporaneous murder plots. The demon in a box and the child in a box. By different people? Um, the child supposedly had everything that he needed to transgress all of the locks. He had god flesh, he had the blood of council member, uh, he had a, presumably a space helmet, I guess, um, and the code to bypass the lock. So, if that's the case, there was no need to create... Um, a situation by which he could get through. There was no need for the daybreaks to have all of the shit they have. There's no need to have two chunks of god flesh if only one person needs to go get through that holy seal, right? Let's talk, Henry. Is this helping? These little chats helping you work out who did it? I'm getting a picture of the island. I understand the crucible of crime better. You like what you see? The islands can't continue like this. How are you going to fix it? Well, that's a job for the next island. I need to find the truth first. You promise you're going to do something? I'll do what I can. The Syndicate is a slow ship to turn. I hope you stick to that. Whatever. Okay, so I've maxed him out as well. Uh, boy, people do sure love to write stories about incredibly unequal societies where the protagonist is a member of the upper caste of that society, but one who's slightly more sympathetic to the lower castes of that society, 
who eventually wins the respect and possibly admiration of a member of that lower caste of society, um, who then gets the protagonist to agree to change things, but the protagonist doesn't really change anything. That's such a, a common uh, arc for stories. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of ridiculous, and I think it's got a pretty unambiguous purpose to reinforce the status quo. Not, I mean, that could be reaching, but, you know, it seems pretty... Mm, could be a thing. Grand Marshal, back at code 14. Do you know anything about the third Holy Seal? I know this Lebigu went through it and killed the council. Do you know anything about demons on the island? We exterminated them, Nanorosito. Have you got a minute, Aikiko? You're going to die- Oh, she does say that every time. You're going to die. Humor me. Do you still collect war relics? Why do you care? Friendship, Aikiko. We've been through this. Fine. Yes. Okay, good. What's the centerpiece of your collection? Centerpiece? The most important part. They are all important, Prost. The relics are created through the actions of soldiers giving their lives in combat. How can one be more important than another? That's a good way of thinking about it. I know. Take this. It's a shell from a demon I killed in Romania before the Syndicate. Regardless of what else I feel like, I really like her dark uh, eyeshadow. I think it suits her very well. Why are you giving this to me? Ungrateful Tikelos. I tried this friendship since you were so insistent. If you don't want it, don't have it. I'm sorry, I was just surprised, not ungrateful. Good. Now that we've played this friendship thing out, we're done, right? <laughs> She's also got a good line in smug expressions. Done? Yes, we became friends. You got what you wanted. Now you can leave me alone. If that's what you want, Akiko. That took longer than I was hoping. Goodbye, Nonorisito. Relic obtained. Chivalrous war relic. A petrified shell from a demon that Aikiko killed during her campaign against Damned Harmony. Okay, may your night be bright and may you reach the moon. Yeah, cool, okay, so hopefully we never need to come the fuck back here again. You reunite. Oh, I actually straight up don't have anything else to say to him, okay. I probably should have looked at this before I did that. Oh well, I could cut this, but I won't. That's what we call manufactured authenticity. <laughs> Do you know anything about the third holy seal? I know that it will cost you. Nice doing business with you. It's a bloodlock. How do you know that? I have my ways. Someone let it slip. Who? Eyes Kiwami. What made him tell you? That will always be my secret. Who else knows? Who can say? Maybe the gods carry him through the cosmos, but he was easy to manipulate. He had a weakness for women and easily gave in to cosmic fear. Who knows who talks to who on this island? Who knows what secret meetings happen in quiet rooms? Who knows what gets said when someone has the fear of the gods put into them? Well, that narrows it down. Do you know anything about how the council enter the penthouse? If I knew the secrets of the seals, we wouldn't be doing this dance. I don't mean the seals. I mean, how do they go in and out frequently? Are they in there every day? The penthouse is reserved for special business. It takes a lot to get the council in there. Big building to be hardly ever used. Morserat loves his concrete. He wanted something large and imposing. Something to reach the heavens without the audacity of Babylon. Why not build it on the mountain if he wants to reach heaven? The mountain is reserved for holy grounds. The temple's carved into it. You don't argue with the high priestess. Anyway, Montserrat decided that the council would only enter the penthouse together. His paranoia was growing unabated. Did you know he always carried a gun? The old Montserrat never used to do that. So it would be weird if I have evidence of a council member entering by themselves two days before the murder. If a council member did, they could be going directly against our leader. A risky move. 
None of us are privy to everything that happens with the council, so I can't say for sure. I haven't heard anything about council members disobeying him, though. If that's the evidence you've got, something is definitely suspicious. Got any product that relates to Henry's father? Digging in the past, lady? Is there truth in the mists of time? An investigator investigates. The holy, the third holy seal is a bloodlock that requires council blood. I need to know where Henry got that blood from. Henry's father's an odd one, isn't it? The syndicate control this island. The citizens monitored like cattle. This slipped through, though. I've been trying to find out the answer myself. I don't like unknowns. I haven't got much, but I do have something to sell. Nice doing business with you. I've got records of some private financial transactions between Rena Division and Ai's Kiwami. What kind of transactions? Eyes was giving her money. Henry was born 27 years ago, right? These transactions date back 27 years and 5 months. And? I thought you were an investigator. Why would a powerful council member be giving personal money and secretive transactions to a female citizen five months before her only child was born? Oh. Well, we'd already figured out that that was Ai's Kiwami's kid, right? Who could modify birth records on the island? What kind of modification? Redactions? Scrub identifiers? Doom Jazz is the one that fills in and signs off on birth records. If it was done at the time, it would have been him. Have you got redacted records? Jealous? Curious how you have them and I don't. I poked around in an apartment. Don't be coy. If you want help, tell me more. Ice Kiwami. Well, there's the link. Him and Doom Jazz are tighter than tight. If Eyes put his dick where he shouldn't have and, and needed to hide it, Doom Jazz could have helped. Is there a way I can prove who tampered with the records? Not likely. Why did Eyes take his own life? I see your train of thought. We don't know. He jumped from the roof of the HQ. Foul play. No, there were witnesses. Surely you have some suspicions. I think he made some mistakes and realised how much trouble he was going to be in. I think he had let too many secrets slip and had been in too many people. There are only so many indiscretions you can hide. And if you want some free advice, don't talk to Doom Jazz about this. He owed Eyes his life and he won't appreciate you prying. I have a job to do. I know. It's just advice. Intriguing. This pretty much slots into, pretty much all slots into things we already knew. Doom Jazz already yelled at us for uh, transgressing the burial site of Eyes Kiwami. Crimson, have you got the inside track on demons on the island? You mean Shinji? Well, let's start with Shinji. He's a little asshole, but he's harmless. You've met him? Why hasn't he been captured? He's weak. He has to choose when and where to physically manifest, so he avoided capture. You've not reported him? He's helped me with a few things. He's seen things I haven't. The island's going to end. He's too weak to do anything, so what's the harm? Could he have killed the council? No way. He has limits. He can barely hold physical objects. His weakened astral body conflicts with our reality. What about other demons? On the island? I assumed the marshals got them all after the Henry incident. So you're not aware of any other demons on the island that might have gotten into the council penthouse last night and redecorated it a nice shade of viscera? What do you know about secret demonology labs? You mean the one in the dead zone, coded to witness and Carmelina's blood vials? Good work, lady. I've been in it, but I don't know how it was kept a secret. I think it was an old panic room Carmelina designed into the island. I've never been in there, but I realised Witness was up to something a while back. He managed to keep it a secret from everyone else, but I have ways of finding things out. Why did he start down this dark path? Witness wants to understand why Paradise fails. The fail point is demonic corruption. It rots the islands and causes the end of Paradise. I need to find out more. If I'd known that there would have been so much information, uh, I would not have come and talked to Cr Crimson right now. I was expecting like one 
question that I could ask, not several. I'm getting a little tired of doing that voice. It's a cool voice, but my throat is sore. Got time for a chat, Crimson? Why is nobody else blessed? The gods work in mysterious ways. It depends on who catches their eye. What do you really want to talk about? You're not here to shoot the breeze about divine blessings. I can see it in your eyes. Can I ask you about Isaiah? I was wondering when we'd get to the ex-husband topic. What do you want to know? What's he doing now? He's still responsible for the citizen management. Abduction, reconditioning, distribution. Is he happy? Sorry if this is a heartbreaker, but he's with Madame Complex now. The garden tender? The very same. She lost Gregory on the 18th island when he repaired the timelines. A couple of islands later, she had a night out with Isaiah at the bar, knife through the heart, and the rest is history. But is he happy? Are you asking if he still pines for you? Ooh, spicy. Yes, my name doesn't represent all of me. It took him a few islands to get over you. Anger at what you did, and then deep longing. He buried himself in his work. He got through it. He's on the next island, one of Lydia's first pickups last night. Not a lot for the citizen manager to do once the slaughter is complete. I'm glad he's not a suspect. It's time to move on, lady. Understood. Lady, I have something to tell you. I told you about the key from K-Hax. I didn't tell you another part of the story. I've been worried about what's going on, but you need to know. I seduced K-Hax for my own interest, but someone else asked me to do it as well. Who? Witness. Why? He wanted the key. I don't know why, but he asked for it. He wanted it modified for remote access. A dongle could be replaced. <coughs> A dongle could be placed in a remote... A dongle could... A dongle could be placed in a control panel, and then used to remotely access it. Obligatory joke about how it's been a long time since I've had a dongle placed in my control panel. It needed a line of sight, though. That amount of data could easily drop packets if the signal was blocked. Did you give it to him? Yes. Why? He promised to help me. With what? He said he had a plan for the next island that would allow me to keep my freedom and allow me to return to active service. Crimson. I know. I didn't expect it to be this, if this was him. This is the truth? Yes. I've got some work to do. Okay, now that's interesting. We haven't had any evidence with regards to K-Hacks for a while. So Witness had the key to the second seal. This still doesn't tell me whether Carmelian and Witness were working together or whether these were two separate murder plans that happened to go off at the same time. Or, and here's a thought that I haven't voiced previously and I realise we're pushing half an hour for this episode and I usually try to aim for 20 minutes, but it's occurred to me that um, what if Wit what if Carmelina and Witness planned to kill the council long ago, and that box has been sitting in the council chamber for forever, ever since they figured out how to make it, and tonight Carmelina triggers her murder attempt, sends her 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 concrete room baby to go fight the fight the guys, and Witness at the same time is like. Oh no, I have to try and stop this from happening. The only way I can affect what's in there is if I release the demon. Or perhaps much more simply, the demon was there to uh, to, to kill the kid um, so that they could cover it all up and hide what happened. But then if they had Henry Division as a patsy for that purpose, why did they need that to happen in anyway? Ugh, I don't know. I'm going in circles here. Anyway... <laughs> May your journey be endless, and may you reach the moon. So it looks like there's actually still more information to glean from her. I'm surprised that any of these characters still have any information left to give me, but 
that is really gonna have to be it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching this bumper extra long episode of uh, Self-Critical Automaton plays through Paradise Killer and relentlessly complains about how crap it is sometimes, while also kind of being into it and enjoying other aspects of it. Anyway, that's it from me for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.